evening all, welcome to Kicking Dust. Right, today we're going to look, at, it's a quick look, we're doing a bit of ambush and um, what we're going to do is basically look at the mass driver. This is uh, something that's going to be a bit weird because as I do this I actually have a camera strapped to my head. So if you're interested in maybe seeing behind the scenes of how this video was made, go to the Squad B website and you'll see me, um, well you won't see me, but you'll see my head, <laughs> you'll see a, video, a camera implanted on my bonce. Uh, talking into this microphone here and basically talking and showing you how we do these videos. So if you're interested in the process of YouTube, if you're interested in the process of video making, then uh, go check it out. Um, to be honest, this is going to be a very surreal experience. Um, we, the reason we're doing this is because we thought it'd be nice to have some specials, director's cuts. No, don't worry, I don't consider myself a director, but it's just something that we thought would be funny to include. So go check it out, squadby.com, and you'll see the behind the scenes making of this video. Um, as, I, <laughs> as I weirdly talk into a microphone in a weird room, as I look around, oh my God, it's a bit scary. Anyway. How's dust going? Well, dust is a strange, strange place. Wednesdays are always very good. They're very busy, in fact. So it's probably Thursday, Fridays, yeah, not too bad. But Saturday, Sunday, usually good games. And then Monday, Tuesday, my God, what a wasteland this game becomes. <laughs> but weirdly enough, you get some really good games. In fact, you get better games, to be honest. You kind of get better games on the Monday and the Tuesday. Just saying, bro. Because all the tryhards that are there just to continually feed their cocaine habit of skill points um, addiction is they all kind of bugger off. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, running the mass driver, I think this is quite a, I guess, a revelation for myself. I, I do like the mass driver. I've always liked the mass driver. I think it's always been something that I've generally tried to use. I think the problem I have with it is um, it does uh, armor damage. It's not very good shield. I guess damager. So it's always been a bit tricky to run that. Now people are telling me to run bolt pistol and this or ion pistol and a mass driver. But to be honest, maybe. We'll see. Um gotta admit though, I am enjoying the mix, the combo of the two. The mass driver is just phenomenally powerful as well. You you know, you don't need to kind of even have line of sight. The ability just to duck out and then shoot and then duck out and shoot is incredible. And I think really it's something quite well, it's quite incredible actually what you can do. Um, with this wonderful gun. To be honest, I would honestly give it a go. Uh, they seem to have fixed a lot on it. The, the freedom that I'm running, which is, I guess, his prototype, um, is very, very good indeed. And I'm actually quite surprised at how good um, it is. So, you know, definitely worth a go. Double kill. Uh, yeah, other than that, running a bit of bush, running a bit of uh, ambush, looking at the Hotfix Charlie stuff coming through. Uh, Retarty has done a a very kind of no-nonsense post on the forum again liking his style very much um, he's the kind of guy that I thought if I ever met in real life would probably say to me oh you're CEO Pyrex yeah seriously dude stop being such a dick <laughs> I have this image of him saying that to me and me sat there completely laughing my ass off because I kind of like that I think you know I'd love it if actually more CCP were actually a bit more honest and say CEO Pyrex shit in fucking mouth seriously because I actually would respect that quite a lot more than um, trying to kind of nullify me and deal with me. I'm a prima donna and I know this and I think that's kind of why um, that's what most of us are like in fact. We're all a bit like that um, and it's to be honest it's part of the game, it's part of the fun. Uh, CCP are a unique games company and no other game company would put up with a community such as annoying gits like me so I think I kind of celebrate them for that and I still think and I still say honestly and categorically this Dust 5 on 4 game is bloody brilliant it has that feeling of Call of Duty but the original World War 2 one I don't know if you ever played that, but that felt such a solid, I don't know, strong game. The guns felt powerful, the Lee Enfield, and was it Lee Enfield? Uh, I forget, but it was just, everything about it felt solid. And this game has that feeling. Planet Side 2 and, and, you know, all of those games that are kind of following on from that ilk are very good indeed, but they don't have that kind of solid clunk about them. Makes no sense what I just said, but that's, that's the way it is. Um, so I think definitely, definitely well worth um, <laughs> well worth a look at those kind of old games to get that kind of feeling of what you've got for here, uh, this game. It's really because Call of Duty 2 and Call of Modern Warfare rather actually just took a, a, a leaf out of the original Call of Duty books. So, uh, you know, games. Go back and have a look at them. They're actually really good and I'd highly recommend people give it 
to go. But anyway, there we go. Nice quick one. That's the blessings of ambushes. They're nice and quick. And so it's a nice and quick video again. So just a reminder, if you want to see behind the scenes of me waving my hands around as I do the voiceover and you wanted to see how I edited this, maybe. Maybe you're a YouTube wannabe and you would like to know a bit more about how to edit. Seriously, I don't know. I just learned it myself. Come and have a look, see how I did it, and watch me watch me drive Adobe like a master. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you next time. By the way, check out squadb.com for the additional director's cut of this video. Oh my god. <laughs>